Right guys, Danny from Inglorious Fishing. I'm gonna go out tonight, I'm gonna do the lobster pots. They haven't been done for 10, 11 days, something like that. We've had storm force weather, so we haven't been able to get out. It's been absolutely hectic, so. Yeah, hopefully we get out, hopefully we get something. The gates are about to drop any minute. We're gonna get the boat prepped. She's there in the background. So yeah, get out there, get it done. And then, uh, like I say, hopefully get some big crab or lobsters. So stay tuned, it's in glorious fishing. We'll start unwrapping the boat and then we'll start making our way out there. Well guys, first string, absolutely nothing, and I'm missing another set. So stay tuned, we'll get on to the next set, and hopefully I can find that third one. It's inglorious. Alright guys, with well the second strings up, and this is how it's currently going down. First pot guys, we have a shanker, uh, two velvet crabs, and a lobster. I don't think that's going to be in size, that lobster. That's for sure. I think that's going to be too small. Still nice to see the old lobsters. Oh, lights on. Great little things, lobsters. Love them. Anyway, that'll be going back in a minute. A brown edible crab. It's going to be a female, you can tell by the claws. Oh, it's actually a male. It's a little male. We don't want that. So, when he releases, we'll just leave him there for a bit, he'll release. Got another one there, little one. Velvet crab, dead one. Lobster's been eating it. Another one there. And we have another. Get rid of him. Get the bait out. That's pot number one, look, there he goes. Get away. There we are, got rid of him. I'm gonna start doing my pots like this now, guys. I hope you prefer this, well, I hope you enjoy this one. Oh, what was that? I thought that was a blimmin' crab then. Just my pot. Second pot, I'm sure I had lobsters again. There we go. Oh, look at that beauty. That's a lobster, guys. Check that out. Oh, shame about the claws. Look at that. That's a big old 
Female. Big old female. You can tell here, just by that there. The two front feelers, if they're soft, it's a female. If they're hard, the top two, then it's a male. That's a beautiful monster. That's a big old bear for that. Second one. I don't know if that one's gonna be in, guys. I'll we'll check it in a sec. That's a male, that. Uh, yeah, it's a male. See, they're hard now, these bits. They're, they're hard. On the female, they'll be soft. Anyway, we'll check them in a bit. And we've got one little brown edible crab there in the back. Anyway, guys, I think that's going to be it for the lobster pots because my third string's missing. I don't know if the Sarnia boat's picked it up, but I knew that it had drifted out in the middle, but I couldn't get out to it because of the tide. So, sun's setting. And uh, Emeroods there. We're going to uh, go back home, have a little drink, have something to eat, and then we're going to head off and we're going to go do some shore fishing. So, I hope you stick with me for that video, guys, and stay tuned. We're going to start making our way in. Some glorious fishing. episode of Inglorious Fishing. We only had one big lobo wobbo but we only did four traps so not bad, not good. Anyway at least there was something rather than having nothing. Anyway I'm off now, I'm gonna go and do a bit of shore fishing so that'll be the next video after this. So stay tuned guys, hope to see you on the next adventure. It's Inglorious Fishing, hopefully you get some red mullet tonight. Stay tuned. So guys, welcome to another episode of Inglorious Fishing. We're out targeting the mullet. Now, dug a load of fresh rag before. I didn't get a video of that guy because I didn't want to show him where I've been digging my rag lately because I've been getting absolutely stuck with this little shell here. Bet your bottom dollar that they're going to be digging there. So, anyway, here's a bit of the bait. It's a bit of the bait there, guys. These are the ragworms that I dug earlier. There's some nice rag in here. Some lovely ragworm. Big ones, some big boys. Nice ones. Anyway, they're nice for the red mullet. Perfect. I've had one bite already. Um, on the rug closest to us. That's on the one up, one down. So yeah, they're both baited up heavily with ragworm in the hope of the official red mullet. Could get bass here. Could get placed. Anything's possible here, guys. So stay tuned. And hopefully, I can bring you some fish. Glorious fishing. Well guys, I moved location. It was absolutely crap on the lifeboat slip. I had one bite. Anyway, welcome surprise. Not the red mullet that we wanted. A lovely little whip there. Took my rod like God knows what. I'm gonna have to get the hook out now. But it saved the blank, that's for sure. I've been having bites on the other rod, so hopefully we can dwindle at you out a red mullet. He's engulfed that hook. Anyway, stay tuned, I'll give you a glimpse of him once he's off. So guys, second fish, red mullet, target species acquired, baby. After a slow, slow evening, we finally got one. It's not the biggest, I'll give it a quick measure for you. It's a beautiful looking fish though, check that out. Beautiful looking fish. Anyway guys, quickly uh, put it down, get a quick photo of it. And she is 26 and a half centimetres. Anyway, it's a lovely fish. Stay tuned, hopefully there's a few more. Like I said, it's a slow evening, but we got the rods out. 
And we've got the ragworms. Stay tuned. It's glorious fishing. Alright guys, Danny from Inglorious Fishing. Sorry, this is the outro to the lobster and the red mullet um, shore fishing video. Uh, unfortunately, I forgot to do the outro. So this is it, guys. But stay tuned because I'm just about to go out and do some turbots.